So I'm back to the city now, the main square, and I've chosen this place to start the video because there's a very key and important landmark over here in the city. And uh, if you can follow this landmark, you will never be lost in Marrakesh, which is quite easy to be. So this one straight is called the Kutubia Mosque, which is the famous landmark uh, over here. Importantly, because if you go this side straight, this would be a railway station and further down would be the airport. I came from this side, which is the Kasbah district. And now I'm heading towards this, uh, the Jamal Al Fana Medina Square, the main square. Uh, this is a very, very, very big square. So I will have to definitely make this video in two parts. And literally I'm running very low on energy and battery life because it's scratching heat and 2.30 in the afternoon. So I'll try to be as fast as possible on this one. So I'm entering Jamal Fana. Now, as I've been mentioning in my previous videos, uh, this horse pulled carriages are very, very famous and touristy in this area. And this is a starting point. So you can imagine that a line of these people are like queuing up here for their uh, journey which will be starting somewhere in the afternoon evening late evening when the sun is a bit down thankfully you guys are not hearing the smell which i am in this video because it's not good uh i don't want to go into details you know the reason why i say that ah if you're also okay coming back to the main square so this is where the square starts and i will be a bit quicker on this journey because it's huge and i don't want to keep this video for long because i'll be going further down towards the souk as well a uh, word of caution at any point of time if i suddenly stop my video it would mean that i have been harassed and been asked to pay money for what not things so just a friendly thing okay this side is this is a very important landmark this is called hotel ali and this is the area where you will get all your currency exchange shops and this is the main area where you get all your currency exchange shops uh, lined so this is the location where you can get all the currency exchange done for your city that would be kotobia that's hotel ali and the currency exchange side and i am now entering further towards the uh, square you can see uh, very different different shades few of them are henna artists who will not be disturbing me but few others are let me see if i can zoom in let me zoom in and i'll go out quite far this is the area where they are playing with the monkeys and they'll like monkey good good so yeah if i don't pay they won't allow me to come in or rather they will throw the monkeys in front of me which i'm not willing to do in front are the snake charmers i will not go in front they've already caught hold of two guys placed a snake in front of one of them look that's the snake charmers someone was coming in front of me so i had to rush away let me try once again that's snake charmers, the famous snake charmers of Marrakesh. This is quite empty, right? Just wait for my video for the night ones. You can imagine how this place turns up at night, rather from evening onwards. You have no clue what it looks like. There's one more group of snake charmers, but there's nobody right now. So can you see them? Hopefully they don't disturb me. Yeah, they haven't. So yeah, that's another set of those snake charmers. Right now, all low in energy. That side is the hostel of mine and the, probably the hostel areas in general. That's another entry point. Uh, the famous uh, cafes or restaurants which has rooftop views are quite popular here. So people, what they do is they literally just have a coffee or their lunch or the dinners sit on those uh, rooftops or the semi mezzanine ones and enjoy the view of the madness over here i have myself done it all the for the all 
last two three nights so yeah that that's roughly the whole square those sides are the fixed stalls very far away from here so you can see probably i'll show this side these are again the, the fruit sellers uh, fruit juice is very common and uh, it's it's quite cheap as well but unfortunately i didn't have the gut to uh, check it out from these places i have tried out from proper restaurants and they are very good but yeah it's uh, it's quite quite colorful and quite uh, hopefully good for health as well so yeah that's that's roughly on the other i've come to the other corner of the main square giving you a final summary that's what let me zoom out that's what the whole square looks like i started coming in from there that that tall one it is kutubia mosque and i've all come down here then went there came here and back here going down further this side would be my next video which hopefully let's try out it's only six minutes i can go with further these are your put away shops selling anything and everything it's actually very hot so literally don't go by the things that it's empty it's just because it's it's hot anyways uh, people doing hairdos and whatnot somebody is telling me not to take a picture nothing nothing new it's so common and oh that's a tuk-tuk on a moroccan color and this is also a very famous area for your eateries and all if you try to just avoid the main chaos then you can come down to these places this is also very good and yeah so that's the continuation of the Jamal Fana fruit shops are all throughout they are very very popular and from here onwards or here or here or here all are the gates of the souk so souk is a bazaar the bazaars have already started in the in the courtyard here itself but the main bazaar is all within this side i will oh look how beautiful moroccan flags as well so yeah i will i will next uh, enter a souk oh there's something crazy it's a uh, eagle that's something new it's an eagle people are posing with that eagle so yeah you can imagine any kind of madness any kind of thing you want you will find out here there's a reason why it says it says that marrakesh is crazy you can understand why so anything and everything can be found here this is like an interesting uh, spice shop or a potpourri shop i've taken a few pictures previously that's the potpourri flowers and that's a moroccan flag they're nice people hello hello he's offering me a tea of course for money and this is another good eatery probably i'll have my lunch somewhere here i haven't done the lunch yet so yeah quite a lot journey from back at the kutubi to here at the kind of main entrance of the souk i will not carry on further it's very hot oh somebody just went just beside me okay enough enough of blabbering that's the main part of the jamal fana on that note i will close the video over here see you in the souks